Okay, uh, we're back. Uh, this is actually going to be part two because I accidentally pushed the wrong button on my phone and the video stopped. So this is part two of cooking roasted pumpkin seeds. Almost done. There's a close up. So I want to just make them a little more brownish and then we'll dust them with the uh, sea salt or season them with sea salt. Dust, season, hey, um, however you want to say it. And inside, of course, our uh, chestnuts are roasting. Anyways, let's get these babies back, and we're doing all this at 350. These pumpkin seeds have been in there for, uh, I'd say 20 minutes, and I think they're about 10 minutes away. Okay, and we're gonna come back, and we're also gonna start doing our apple pie very soon. Oh, it's on, okay. Hey, uh, back again, this is part two of my blog, uh, just, uh, Yes, I haven't vlogged in a while. Once again, there's my cool sign in my teeny tiny kitchen. And it's not November. <laughs> Gotta change that stall. So we're doing a vlog on December 1st, 2019, the first day of November. And it's a storm. Look at those flags being ripped to shreds. Okay, uh, once again, here's some of my artwork. I like this one. Very famous Quebec artist, Suscan, Charles Suscan found in the garbage at my workplace and um, yeah Dollarama don't hate me it was on sale okay anyways uh, blah 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 I should take a look at my dirty soap uh, I should take a look at what's in the oven to see if everything's done here chestnuts getting there uh, pumpkin seeds yeah maybe a little longer okay Okay, about five minutes away. Okay, so we're gonna start our apple pie. There's our uh, bowl. Actually, I just realized I could actually keep filming here. Uh, here's our very busy fridge. There's some pork in there. Because we're a pork fat fan. There's a nice steak. I like this brand, eh? Um, I guess I'm doing a promo on the blog. Uh, it's a good company. It's called Free From. I get these from like Loblaws or uh, No Frills. And uh, that's just really nice strip loin, 350 grams. Look at the marbling, that's the beautiful. So when it's marbled like that, that's triple A, baby. Anyways, that's for a few days for now because we still have pork. There's the pie shells I use. This is a really good brand and it uses lard because I think lard, I don't know, it just tastes better to me and it's more crumbly. But it's been a while since I've had the uh, vegetable base. So anyways, so we're going to start doing that, start doing the apples, come back when I uh, have one more apple action. You watch me peel and chop apples. Uh, coming back soon. Okay, so we're uh, back again to continue. So we're going to start our apple pie. So we got basically a kilo of Granny Smith's, which is about seven apples in this case. Uh, one lemon, one bowl. Uh, one egg, that's for the crust, that's the sugar mix, that's the, uh, uh, what's well, actually this recipe that I got from the, uh, internet, uh, the second recipe for apple pie, this is a good recipe. So it's all this, three quarter cups of sugar, two tablespoons flour, half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon cinnamon, quarter teaspoon nutmeg, uh, juice from one lemon, one beaten egg, uh, crust, oh boy. Uh, where's the crust? There's a crust. There's a crust. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we're gonna make the apple pie. We're actually gonna also check the, uh, which one call it's in the oven, which would be the chestnut action. I'm pretty sure these are ready. Yeah, they're ready. Pumpkin seeds are ready. Good enough. Uh, the the uh, uh, chestnuts. I don't know yet because I gotta test them still. I think I need to put more water and put them back. They can go a little longer. So let's get a little more water here. And I don't have a kind of brush, so I'm just using my hand. So this is, the, I think the whole point of putting water, in this case it's distilled water, is so it doesn't dry out, eh? That would be the, my assumption, even though you're not supposed to assume. <laughs> So let's put her back in there and we're gonna start making our apple pie. The seeds are done. So we'll come back, keep coming back to this part two of this vlog. Okay, so we're gonna try and uh, film for a little longer because uh, 
and sure that is a uh, uh, short burst. So there's the uh, pumpkin seeds are roasting. If you listen closely, I don't know if I need to come in the background. They're crackling. It's kind of a cool sound. I just salted them with some sea salt. Now we're going to put our camera, so we're going to try and actually film what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, gotta get that adjustment. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can see, kind of. You know, there's, I noticed there's a problem. Nope, there's no problem. Actually, hold on. That's my microwave, that's why. I, I worded it by the reflection, I thought it wasn't filming properly. <laughs> it's like a mirror. <laughs> Okay, so we've just, uh, so, there's the sugar mixture, and we're just put the uh, lemon one moment into a bowl, and as we peel and slice our apples, uh, they go into the bowl, we toss them so they don't get brown. So I guess everyone knows that, that's basic, okay? I think my classical music's a little too loud, I don't know, I think it's, I think it's kind of drowning me out. Hold on, I'm gonna turn it down. I'm doing a vlog, I gotta be. Hold on. You got I'm in back. Ah. Okay, no, I can't hear it. Hmm. That was drowning me out. Okay, anyways, so getting back to the. Uh, oh. I don't know. Hey, it's not like I'm a professional here. <laughs> YouTube, please. <laughs> Amateur at heart. Okay. Okay. So one moment. I think the recipe actually calls for uh, half a lemon, but I don't. I don't mind having more than lemon juice because I don't mind the tartness. Eh? I guess it's a preference too. Also, I feel I need the juice of one lemon to coat the, all the apples. Because seven apples is quite a bit after a while. So, this is my method of uh, peeling an apple and coring it without an apple core. Uh, I need a good peeler. And these peelers are like German or Switzerland. And they're really good. They're $5 at nice kitchen stores. And these are the best. Eh? I used to work in a kitchen. They're the best. And apples are a little hard to peel because the peel actually sticks. So, you're always flicking away. Anyway, so what I do is I... My sharp knife, little paring knife. I just chop off both ends. That's how I peel an apple at home. I'm sure there's faster ways of doing it. And you just go like that, blah. And the thing about these skins is they're all pretty thick, eh? They're always sticking in the thing. But you know what I'm saying. Just peel them away. Over articulating the peel. <laughs> okay, anyways. And. Because I got a small kitchen, I just dump it into my sink. That's my garbage can, that's my method of saving space in a very small kitchen. I quarter it. So I'll core it out. So I, I cut it. Actually, I guess you can't really see it because I'm going over there. Hmm. Actually, I guess I can see that. Maybe I'll do it from in front. So I take the core and I'll throw it in. Yeah. And I just, you know, kind of. That wasn't the best job, but okay. Core it out. And then the slices, you just slice, slice, slice. Going off here. Can we see that? No, oh, I guess you can. Right into the bowl of lemon juice. So I'm going to take the core, and we're going like this, you know, making kind of like a U, if you can. So your knife should be a little flexible, you don't want to totally sit back. And just slice it up. So we'll do that. So I'm going to come back. So that's the apple. So they're all going to be like that. Then we're going to toss it, toss it with the sugar, put it in the bottom crust. Top it with the top crust. We'll come back for that, and we'll come back when this is more finished because I don't want to, you know, at the same time it's going to take a long time to peel all that. Okay, so coming back. Okay, back again. So the uh, chestnuts are done. You can see when the uh, well, the skin goes like this, and if you kind of press them in, they seem like they're tender, which these are. They're done. So that was at like 
350 for say half an hour and you keep spritzing it with water like that a few times so they don't dry out. So we're going to put our oven at uh, 375 and we're going to do our, our apple pie. Those are our pumpkin seeds, nicely toasted and just lightly uh, golden brown. And, and you just sprinkle it with sea salt and it's really amazing. So here's the uh, two pie shells. Here's the apples that have been tossed. Uh, in the lemon, there was the sugar that I'm gonna mix into it. There's the egg wash, and we're gonna sprinkle the top with sugar. So let's do this. So let's uh, put it like this, so you could actually. Mm. Okay, again, not the best equipment. Okay, <laughs> don't hate me. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so this is the sugar mix. So you put all that in there in the bowl. Blah blah blah. So I should get all of that. And you mix it. So one thing I learned in cooking school years ago is when you're stirring something in a big bowl, just keep do a little eighth of a turn, eighth of a turn, and stir it. That helps. That helps mix it faster, more accurate, more even, I believe. That's a long time ago. <laughs> 1997, actually, George Brown cooking school. Wow. A long, long time ago. So basically, you just want to mix it. And this looks like a lot, but we'll, it will actually fit all of it into these uh, pie shells. And that's why making an apple pie yourself is so much fun because you get to control the ingredients. And it's usually the best. And this is a good recipe. I got this recipe from Google. Because that's what you do every these days now. Everything's off the phone. Music, movies, TV shows. And uh, recipes. And this was the second recipe. I just uh, Googled apple pie recipe. And this is the second one. And that'll... So I skipped the pastry part because that's the tough part and that's also the time consuming part because it's much easier obviously to do the filling. And I've tried making pastry in the past and honestly I suck at it. And part of the thing about making an apple pie or any fruit pie is the crust. You want a nice crust. If your crust sucks, you know, no matter how good your filling is, your crust sucks. <laughs> well, I'm lying. Okay, so we get all that in there. Uh, 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 quick amount. So use the spatula to get every bit of this sugar mixture in the pie. That's why I always like using spatulas. Am I getting this on camera? I should actually look at what I'm doing. <laughs> so I get a good glob of that sugar on there. In the pie. So I guess you're just kind of flatten it. God, that is a lot. Mm. Let's see if this actually fits now. Boom, boom. So sometimes you just gotta use your hands, okay? <laughs> Sorry, kids. Okay. So then we're gonna take the second pie shell and we just flip it, okay? So that's a good mine, and this will cover. And then we'll crimp it down with the fork, and I'll slide off. So you got there. So now you just want to kind of center it. And it may break when it presses down. So let's get a fork. Because there isn't too much pastry here on the edge that you could do the crimp action. I could do that, because that's cool to do. But it's very, there's not too much pastry to work there. I'm pointing to the edge. So it's easier, and it'll still look nice just by crimping it with the fork, okay? Eh? And that's a kind of a classic way of doing a lot of pies. <laughs> Pastry pies, fruit pies, meat pies. And it looks fine, okay. I'm doing a bad job here. 
Damn it. <laughs> I hate that. Okay. It's tearing here. I shouldn't be doing that. I should have made the holes first. I just realized that. Because, you know, you know what? Next time I do this, or if I ever do this, or if you do this, make your slits first. One big one in the middle. And that way you can maybe push that pastry down. I wish I had to push it down more and then it wouldn't be cracking here. But that's too late. So hey, it's not gonna be perfect, but but then this video isn't perfect, so hey, it, it, it goes along. So I'm gonna try and crimp it, even though it doesn't want to crimp. Okay. <laughs> maybe there was a little too much filling. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> maybe I should have used six apples. I don't know. Shoot it. Okay. But I tried. Okay, so anyways. Push it down. Okay, good enough. Not too good, but good enough. Okay, so you're beating egg. Now, I don't have a pastry brush, so I know what you're thinking. How are you going to put this egg wash mixture onto the pie mixture? Well, if no one was looking, the problem is I am making a video, is I could just use my hand. Now, maybe I should be using a fork, or I don't know, like that, but I don't know. I'm thinking this is a good method. I'll be making bread later where I'm kneading everything, so I thought, yeah, use your hand. It's handy. Um, but I didn't mean that to be a pun, if that is a pun. So you coat it with the egg wash. Uh, your oven is preheated to 335 degrees, and it is. And you're going to sprinkle about a tablespoon of sugar onto your pie. And this will give you a nice shiny crust. And you know the sugar looks kind of sugary. It looks nice. Looks like a nice crust. So there you go. That's one but one tablespoon of sugar, so the egg wash stuff. Uh you're gonna cook it on sheet and that's all she wrote and you come back in an hour and you have an apple pie and you let it cool and that's all we got to say about that and I guess I'll be coming back later I can't seem to frame myself so I'm looking directly at the camera uh, to make the bread which I'll be coming back later at but we'll keep it all in part two I think unless I hit the wrong button again okay so coming back again pie going into the oven okay oh yeah we're back yeah, the timer's on. Okay, and the uh, light's blinking. Yeah, so we're uh, just having some of the, uh, we call it the um, roasted cashews, which I've been peeling and eating, and I did the pumpkin seeds. So anyways, our apple pie's done. I just checked it, so we're about to uh, take it out of the oven. So I'll get my glove action going. And here she comes, fresh out of the oven. So remember, I put this in about an hour ago. Actually, a little bit an hour ago. And that's it coming out. And it's beautifully just lightly golden brown. And that's what the egg does to it, eh? So it just um, it gives it a shine. And then when you sprinkle the sugar, it's got that crystally look. And even though I did kind of screw up the, um, the edge, well, I did actually screw up the edge because there's just a little too much filling. But that's a lot of filling, which is good. Uh, that's what it, what it looks. I guess technically, this is hot. That's the best looking kind of crust. So it would have come out better if there just wasn't so much apple in there. So I just put a little too much apple. But otherwise, it's take, take about an hour to cool and it will be an amazing apple pie. And um, I think that's it for this vlog. So uh, part one and two of cooking a apple pie, uh, roasting pumpkin seeds and chestnuts <laughs> is done. So that's it, and I will maybe come back for, oh, I can't center it. I'm kind of like looking to the side for some reason. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm thinking about doing the bread, but I might do that later, so that'll be a separate video. So then this is the end of my vlog, uh, part one and two, 
uh, which I haven't done in a long time. Okay, uh, bye. <laughs> John Thomas, over and out.